Hello, I am Marlene and I have a problem. I am a sex addict. I, my friends helped me realize last year that I have a problem and that I can't keep living this way. Um, I have lost a lot of relationships because of it. Um, I feel bad about myself about a lot of the time. Um, I'm at the point in my life where I don't feel nothing. Nothing. There's I can't even get a high from it no more. It's numb to me and dead. And I'm only 21, so that's not good. I have tried SAA, on that sexual anonymous addict addiction. Um, I dropped out of it. What a lot of people think of as sex addict. They think of someone who goes to corners or pick up prostitute, but there's different forms of it. My biggest one is sexting. I am also a love addict, love addiction, addictive, addiction, have a love addiction problem where that's love to me. Um, it's so hard. It's just, um, it's my biggest fear. is catch me <laughs> HIV or AIDS <laughs> that is my biggest fear it's, I worry about that a lot, because I don't think I'm a bad person, it's just, I don't know how, when I go into relationships, I tell, I used to tell the people, like last year, that I had a problem. And they would manipulate that. I am, um, I cheat. Um, like, verbally sexting. I get more of a high from that more than anything else. It's, it's hard to explain. I don't know how to carry on a conversation when I'm talking to someone I really like without bringing that up. Um, it's hard. I don't, like, the first five minutes is great, the first ten, the first day, but after three days, I don't know what to talk about. I you know, because most people, boys who talk to me, and a female who have talked to me, um, they're not really interested in me. They're more interested in my physical appearance. So when I go into someone, like, maybe one or three times out of the year who actually want to talk to me beyond physical appearance, it's really hard because I have no idea. So sex, bringing up sex topics are like, a clutch for me so I tend to that more I lean on that that's like my backup plan and when I go like recently when I went back and 
I have like read through some old message when I'm I feel embarrassed about it and I do a lot of self hate like recently I met someone and they were amazing and we talked and it was awesome but um when I went back you know when you go back and you reflect on the recap the days and stuff and you think about the whole conversation it was about sex 95% of it for eight hours and I felt embarrassed and I felt bad that I can't have a conversation without it and it made me feel like a threat and I felt very bad like um and I will never be able to have a healthy relationship how it improves I can't have a healthy relationship um living with this is a struggle it's really hard like I can have guy friends and they're just friends like so that's not bad or anything but um you have a hard time like if you're talking to someone and they bring up the topic about sex um after that one topic about sex got brought up I can't like talking like when I mean talking like you meet someone they're cool you and them they want to take it to the next level not talking to a friend or something no but talking to someone and you guys want to take it to the next level that type of talking and they bring up a topic about sex it's like my mind just I can no longer see that person as a person I see them as an object and it sucks because from that point on I no longer see them as a person they're just an object and I'm fascinated and I want to destroy conquer and that really sucks very badly because I can't have I'm in the point in my life where I would like to date somebody and actually want to know get to know their soul uh, and like friends with benefits relationship no longer satisfy me like they used to so I'm in a con an internal conflict with myself wanting to be in a relationship and wanting that it's hard it's like so hard because I feel like when I meet that special someone I have nothing to offer them I feel like I'm no good for them I feel like they don't deserve me they can't there's nothing about me that's special there's nothing about me that's awesome I mean, there's just it's hard um I I um Um, it's just, I have a hard time expressing myself, so a lot of times when I'm like this, or it's like, it's hard, um, I want to be open in a relationship, um, I don't know how, I don't know how to talk to a person without bringing up the topic it sucks it, it should be the simplest thing talking to someone like when I talk to some girls and they can when I hear stories about you know dates and stuff it's I don't 
don't know how to go on a date. Like, um, last year, um, last year, um, July was my first time going on a date. Well, last year, June. And my friend had to tell me the etiquettes of dating because I never been on a date. And he went to the movies with his friends, and I never met a guy's friends before. So, I mean, in that light where we all go to the movies and stuff, I have met a guy's friends, but I was for a having sex situation and stuff. It wasn't for, hey, we're all going to hang out. And it was nice going to the movies with his friends, and we played um, cornhole, and but that ended in a sexual thing and and I also went on a date after that with a different person and the next day we went out again and because I didn't want to have sex with him he never called me again that's my theory but he tried to kiss me and I just leaned back because I wasn't and he was kind of upset about that so he never called me again he made a promise that we would he said I'll take you out the next day and he never did and that really hurt and but I don't really know dating that much um like when I hear girls talk about stories about dates and stuff and romantic stuff I don't I can't relate. The only romantic gesture that I'm used to is if they come on my back or something like that. Um, I'm not used to romantic stuff. I the recently I bought my mom me a flower, and cause I treat my mom like how I wish somebody would treat me. So money isn't a thing. Like when I have it, did spoil her. And I thought about I never gotten flowers from a guy. I never got in a teddy bear. I never got in a gift really. So I that kinda made me sad, like I never been treated right and I'm not going to blame on the guys but it's also my fault for allowing that behavior but I don't really have an idea of what I should be treated like so it's hard it sucks I'm trying to keep back tears so it's hard <laughs> I was in a, talked to this stupid moron, boron dude for three years, and I wish I never met him now. He ruined my name and my 11th grade year to junior year so badly and I kept talking to him because I thought I was I liked him a lot I did he was horrible he was the most disrespectful person I ever met in my life but I dealt with him for three years because that's what I thought was how you, I knew it wasn't how I should be treated but I just needed that attention and he ruined my self-esteem a lot. Um, he told me nobody would ever want me. Anyone who do want me, they're stupid and dumb. So, after hearing that a lot, you know, you get used to that. And he, we verbally abuse each other. You keyword, I said we. I didn't say he. Because it was, I take um, responsibility. I, we, I used to hit him. So, um, we used to hit each other. He, 
I used to hit him. He would verbally abuse me, say mean, hateful stuff that I wasn't good, that nobody would want my stupid ass, and it would go on and on and on. And he would hand me out to his friends. He would leave me, like he would, we would do stuff, and he would leave me at his drive off blue man's friend's house they would try to come on and I would walk away from it sometimes and it it's really sad I remember um like when I was in high school my name would be me and him like he, he would tell the school and I would have a smile on my face talking about these people but from Junior year, not junior, from senior year to January to May, I was horribly depressed. On the weekends, I would stay home crying, but by Monday, I would have a smile and faking it. So, I was sad a lot, and after I finally had the courage one day, we had an on and off thing. He called me stupid. I don't want to see stupid ass. And I said, I don't want to talk to you. But I finally had the courage and last year to stop talking to him, period. And I was, that took a lot of strength, but I finally left. And I haven't looked back and had no urges to look back. But, um,. Then I messed with someone who broke me into pieces in the ways they treated me like a person. I never got treated like one before. And they treated me like a human being. And I don't want to go into that because I think it's stupid and dumb. And, but, um, but he broke me out of my character. He um, broke me like... I was always strong and independent and a you know man and I thought girls who fought for boys were fairly stupid and I tr ended up being a girl who was fighting for a boy that wasn't even mine and I feel bad about it. I don't say that a lot and I act like it doesn't hurt me but I feel bad because I was someone who I knew like the girl and she, we weren't close, close, but she was friends of my, she was a cousin of my best friend, and I feel bad about it. But at the time, I was looking out for myself, and because I like that feeling I had at that time, the, the way you made me feel. But I feel bad about it, but I wouldn't say to her face. But, um,. I hate talking about my feelings. I did. I wish I could just punch someone in the face and get it over with. That's how I express myself, but that's not a healthy way. Um, my goal right now is to get better. Um, I want to learn how to talk to someone without bringing up, I don't know, stupid, dumb, um, this is a dumb video, whatever.